Hey guys, so the new Essence Reaver has been out for a little while now. Uh, we keep a track of who can use this the best, the same that we did with Stormraiser, which you can check that video down below if you haven't seen already. We're going to look at who are decent, some extra ones that don't run it too often, but also get a good kick from it. As always, let us know if you've been trying something a bit different that isn't in this video in the comments. Essence Reaver is actually an awesome item right now. Like, it gives 70 AD, 20% cooldown reduction, and 300 mana, plus the mana refund and attack speed when the passive is active. It's actually loaded with stats, to be honest. Like, even without the passive, part it is a good item if you can use the passive then obviously it's even better right after using your ultimate you have that 10 second window to attack and once you do you'll get the attack speed and you'll refund a 20 percent of the remaining cooldown of all non-ultimate abilities for eight seconds the short version is if you want to use abilities for damage you get ad to make them hurt more you get cooldown reduction to use them more often you get mana and mana regen to use them more too plus then the passive to use them even more often during that window it's a pretty good deal let's just get into the best champions to start with. Lucian is obviously going to be here. The item single-handedly made him better again after all of this time. You can grab this first, you can grab it second, or even later if you want to, but the best is normally grabbing it after Blade of the Rune King. The other part about this rework is it no longer works with crit, which means that we can put it into any single build we want now. In this case, we slot it with a Blade and a Black Cleaver, making our abilities do more, more dueling power, and it's already going to be good before you ult. After you use your ult, though, you'll be dashing all over the place. You'll be using your Q more and pumping out a lot more damage. Renekton is amazing with this new item. If you play Renekton and you don't build Essence Reaver, you are definitely doing something wrong. Normally, you'll buy it second, but sometimes first as well. Also, with the Cleaver, the arm penetration actually helps the AD get through a lot more and shred with your abilities at the same time, so it's a really good combo. Popping your ultimate takes it to another level, honestly. Uh, you're basically reducing the downtime where you're just waiting for cooldowns to come back up, if that makes sense, which was a kind of problem that Renekton had. There is really good synergy with your W, but when you rely on your abilities for most of your damage, it just makes a lot of sense to pick this up. Jax might be a bit more of a surprise, but he wants the passive more than anything else here. You attack insanely fast, right? So you're majorly reducing your cooldowns, and that's where a lot of your damage comes from at the same time. Rather than Renekton, who is just kind of happy to get the AD anyway and a quicker rotation, you want the passive and the attack speed. It's more of a snowball item when you're ahead. Like, Jax doesn't need to go full damage, really, but if he picks it up, that window after his ultimate makes him more tanky and much, much more deadly. Master Yi has also jumped on this new item as well, and it's very similar to Jax. When he pops his ultimate, he attacks a ton. He gets up to 80% free attack speed from his ultimate anyway, plus the rest from all of his build and stuff, his items. His cooldowns as well are a lot higher than the others in this video. That's actually not a bad thing for two reasons. So one is 20% reduction. So 20% of a higher number is going to be more, obviously, and you attack a lot more anyway. So it does even out. The AD is going to feed into his Q. It makes his crits hit a lot harder. You also get more percentage AD from the Rage Blade. So the item stats are good and the passive is just insane. It's up to you when you're going to buy this, actually, but it makes more sense second or third, especially after Rage Blade. Cogmore is another one that you probably did not expect, but this one needs a bit more planning. Uh, if you do it right, though, you can have your W active for like three or four times in a row with no downtime. That is obviously nuts, right? It has a high cooldown for a reason because it's so powerful. So imagine Cogmore with the extra range for the entire fight and the extra damage as well. That doesn't seem fair. The AD is okay for him, but it is all about the passive. Like with the attack speed he's going to get anyway, it makes it easy to use it a ton. Quick thing, by the way, Essence Reaver's passive does have a 30 second cooldown, so you can't just keep it rolling forever with Kog'Maw's ultimate shots. Let's move into our good section. So not quite as nuts as the ones we've already talked about, but they make a lot of sense to get on the champions. So Kaisa then, if she picks this up a bit later, it's actually really good, just not the best as a first item. The great thing about this is it fits with any build. You can run AP or AD with this. The cooldown reduction helps a ton. You have the raise bait to buff this more, and it ends up to be a point where you can use your missiles every two autos pretty much. Also, synergy-wise, you ultimate in normally to the back line to assassinate. That is when you really need to burst harder anyway or have your E more to move around. So timing wise, it is kind of perfect. Sivit is amazing. A lot like Cogmore, you're going to have your W up permanently during fights and you'll know that that is obviously where a lot of the damage comes from. It's very easy to use. You press R to kite or engage anyway. You auto attack to get it going and you pump out a lot of extra damage by doing nothing differently. You desperately want the mana regen anyway and the mana and the cooldown reduction and even the AD to make everything hurt more. The stats are ideal. Most people are going to rush this, which is fine. Uh, you're not getting the most benefit out of it until like around three items, but it does scale amazingly into the game. Nocturne is one that I did not really expect at all. I check every champion for these videos, but honestly thought he wouldn't use it at all. So I kind of had to like, do a double take. Cooldown reduction and the AD does make a lot of sense stat wise. So that's probably why it works really. His ratios are nuts, so you can use it to burst a lot harder. Most run lethal tempo though as well, which means you dive in, you use everything. You also a bunch with the attack speed from lethal tempo and your Q and your E 
would be back up again. Fiora is also a lot better than most people think with this new item. It gives her more damage and it gives her a lot more mobility. I think it's probably mostly just the timing. When she pops her ultimate, she is dedicating to a fight, right? That is when she wants the power to dive in, which Essence Reaver helps with. You do also auto attack a bunch. You reset all the time, more with the attack speed from her E. And it's like a Kaisa with low cooldowns, but a lot of auto attacks. So we have a couple of champions that are decent. Their win rate isn't like amazing or anything. It could be a combination of like the champions that's not very good, but the synergy is actually there. So Ash is gonna rush Essence Fever most of the time, probably a little bit better than the old version for her, but it doesn't make much difference really. Every stat on here is good for her. The passive also works because you can ultimate from range, but it won't switch on until you've gotten range to attack. Ash is so reliant on her W and her Q damage until she gets a few items. So it gives her a really good boost at like one to two items. Zaya should really be a lot better with this. I don't know if it's the state of the game or her or what it is. You would have thought like it gives a cooldown reduction so you get more feathers, mana to spam more and load of AD which feeds into a kit. Her ultimate isn't really used at the start of a fight though and that can be a bit of an issue I think. If you're saving it to dodge something uh, then you're not really going to get much use out of the passive anyway. If you're ahead it's really good though. You can afford to use your ultimate a bit earlier so you will get more use of your Q, your W and your E which are all amazing for team fights. So now we have some uncommon but fun ones. They do actually work. You just kind Kind of spicing up your build a little bit and when i say uncommon i mean they're bought in less than five percent of the games so ezreal in theory can use this really well but it's kind of like where am i going to buy this and put it into my build mana cooldown reduction and ad and more abilities in big team fights that sounds like a perfect item for him the issue is that his core is so strong like man immune sheen item archangels blade the ring king you don't really want to like sub out any of those for it but it still is really good shako has so many different build options right now at this point it's kind of like what is not going to work on him because pretty much everything does. He has a really solid win rate on this though. Like the AD adds to his burst and a bit of extra cooldown reduction can help move around more in fights. You do also a little bit in team fights, but not a ton. It's honestly more about the burst nowadays. Gangplank is more of a fun one. It's really good for dueling people as well. If you're ever going to split push on GP, this is a great item. Maybe not running in to auto attack during a massive team fight might not be the best idea, but when you're alone with somebody, you pop your ultimate, you slap them about, you get more heals and more Q spam which is pretty nuts. The AD makes this work regardless, so you can just slot it into a build if you want to, but ideally, you kind of want to be also attacking somebody to get most use out of it. Vayne can use this item insanely well to get her tumble every pretty much two auto attacks in team fights. That is a lot more damage, but it's also a lot more stealth and repositioning too. Again, it's more of a thing that you might want to grab a bit later into the game after like your core crit or like blade stuff uh, is finished with already, but it can slot into any different build. Like you can buy it any time in the game and it would be good. Olaf's one is for more of an aggressive build, not your typical tank and spank that we see most of the time. Cooldown reduction is amazing for Olaf anyway. You pop your ultimate and you do auto attack a ton for damage. So this probably has one of the most legit synergies here. I don't know if Olaf really needs pure offense. If you think about it, like 70 AD on an item is a lot. But if you're already ahead, you'll do some real damage with it. River might not be one that you're expecting here. But if you think about it, AD is going to boost her damage and defense. The cooldown reduction means more abilities, even if you're not using the mana. When you dive in with the ultimate, you are weaving auto attacks the entire time in between abilities so you'll be using the passive properly same as olaf though normally you want a mix of offense and defense items not really pure damage ones draven doesn't use this very often at all but the cooldown reduction is great in case you drop your axes uh, mana for more w cast and of course all of that ad to shove into your damage the passive isn't actually as crazy as other champions when you already reset your w the entire time as long as you can catch but the stats itself are good enough to make it a decent item a rally is definitely not core for this one but being able to use your abilities even more in team fights is pretty insane. You think it's bad enough now, you stick an Essence Reaver on there and it gets even worse. The base cooldown reduction is really good, so is the AD and even some attack speed to help stack up a passive. Again, it's kind of this issue we've talked about already. What do you replace to slot your Essence Reaver in? Because everything else you're going to build is pretty good. That's probably the last time I'm going to actually mention that point because I think it applies to a lot of champions in this uh, like a fun section. So Trinomir can actually pick this up second or a later actually into the game whenever you want to, but obviously he isn't going to be using the mana regen parts of this or the mana. Uh, at all. It's a bit weird, right, to just skip a stat out, but it's got a lot of AD, a lot of cooldown reduction, and to be honest, when he hits his ultimate, like, that is when he really wants to turn up the heat, do all the damage, and go ham. More spins, more heals, maybe, plus the AD to feed his crits, and the attack speed to attack and crit more. It's not a bad item. Aatrox, sadly, has one of the highest win rates in this video with the new Essence Reaver. I say sadly because he's getting a rework soon, right? Honestly, though, it will still work really well 
after the rework probably actually a little bit better really when they change him the ad means more damage though and he's all about the mix of ability and auto damage so he's going to be using everything on this item apart from the mana rengar is a bit weird as well again doesn't use mana doesn't really auto attack that much but to be honest the cooldown reduction and the ad really helps when you use your ultimate you'll activate the passive when you land and i guess even if you can only get one more q out of that it's going to be worth it shivano is the last one might seem very troll but it actually works it's alongside death cap as the most uncommon but high win rate items for her they pumped a lot of her damage into her abilities now but she's also auto attacking the entire time as well which makes the passive ideal not sure when you would actually get this in the build uh, but if you're ahead then i guess why not just get some extra ad and burst even harder so there you go those are the champions that can use the new essence reaver much better than the others in the game so far thank you for watching the video hope you enjoyed and learned something let me know if there are any others uh, down below in the comment section but for now i'll leave you with the robots